My name is Christopher Klotz, Director of Spiritual Formation at Lipscomb University in the Athletic Department. Uh, this month, I just want to leave you with one overarching thought. Um, for the last couple of weeks, I've been thinking about the Great Commission found in Matthew chapter 28. Uh, and Jesus is speaking, and Jesus says that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, uh, and teach them to obey everything that I've commanded, and behold, I am with you to the very end of the age. Now, I've been thinking about this, and it's been this really interesting thought process around the things that Jesus has commissioned us or sent us out into the world to do. And I think if we're not careful, we fall into one of two camps. The first as being, oh, this is too big of a call. I, I can't go baptize, and I don't know how to make disciples, and I, I'm not sure how to teach. And all of a sudden, we kind of minimize this to, I'm not worthy of that. That must be someone who is in full-time ministry. That's what a pastor does. And we kind of write that off and say, that's not for us. That invitation uh, is beyond us. Now, the other camp is equally as dangerous, and it's that I can do this in my own strength, in my own power. I can go and make disciples and baptize people and we take it upon ourselves and we rely on our own abilities and our own strengths and our own vision to do that and that is equally as dangerous. I've been thinking the last couple of weeks and been reminded of how the scripture is read. We have to hold on to what precedes the call to action and what follows the behold. These are the two things that the Great Commission really hinges on. Right? The thing that precedes our action step in this process is Jesus saying, all authority is in me. That's what Jesus says. It's all his, all authority, both in heaven and on earth. Do you believe that? And I think for me, as I've been thinking the last couple of weeks, the, the more powerful, incredible thing is what happens after the behold or surely. Surely I am with you, Jesus says, till the very end of the age. Do you believe that? Because if you believe that all authority is in Jesus and you believe that he himself is with you to the very ends of the age, then all of a sudden you can lightly and freely step into the places that God has called you for us in the environment of sports and you can love people and care for people in ways that God does all of this heavy lifting. And so this Christmas season, I just want to encourage you that all authority is his. Right? We're, we're singing Christmas carols all about the power and the authority of Jesus. And not only that, Jesus promises He is with you to the very ends of the age. And that, His presence and His promise is what allows us to step into this invitation or this great commission to make disciples, to baptize, to teach, to live with the Lord Almighty. So we pray uh, that this Christmas you would have just amazing quality time with your family and your friends, but ultimately we pray that you would know all authority is His and that He is with you always. Merry Christmas, and as always, Go Bisons!